bugs. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it did. So, yeah, I'm trying to see what type of videos I want. I might do another earth sign video. Because I think I'm just going to do a couple of videos while I'm up and get the energy out. I'm going to tell you just like this, baby. The spirit, is a lot going on in the spirit, baby. And I feel like the Mercury retrograde are already taking a fix, baby. Well, I don't understand. Why is this? Is, it make a lot of sense of why my birthday always been kind of intense every year. Because it's Mercury retrograde around this time. <laughs> That's so crazy, y'all. Uh. I hope I was with you guys. I hope y'all having a beautiful day so far. <sighs> a good weekend so far. Let's get into this energy. First time I'm going to post them today. But why not? Okay. So if I got an ace to chill out me, the first few stacks will take my angel, my space, and my aura. And the ace that you're on about angels of light, anything not light is not welcome here. Ace that you allow me to tap into my earth sign, body, mind, and soul right now. What do my earth sign need to hear? It's something about love. Ace that you remove, uh, you revert anything that's trying to come up against this reading. I ask that you rebuke anything that's, um, that's not of you in the name of Jesus in the blood. Can you cover us up in the blood of Jesus? Amen, amen, amen. Whew, so if I gotta ask that you send all the divine light, the guidance, the angels to help us through this message. Let's get to it. So I transmit all negative energy to positive energy. It's okay, so what's going on? What do they need to hear? I'm hearing divine timing is at play, and some of y'all might don't see that. It could be a certain situation in your life that you don't see that, okay? I told y'all Mercury retrograde coming back up with old feelings and all this stuff coming back up. So, baby, <laughs> right before I came in here, I was crying. <laughs> this shit making this, this journey make me feel so unstable. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm perfectly normal. I be mad and be trying to be super strong, get mad when I cry and this and that. I ain't gonna lie. When I start crying and let myself be unstable and all that, I be more stronger. It hit, like I let it flow. Candle. I let it flow way more than I did in the past. Okay, what's going on? Oh, hold on. I know exactly what I'm gonna pull first. Which cards I wanna pull first? Yup, could be by some burdens. Spirit saying it's okay to let go. I gotta stop putting the one there because you can see. But um, Spirit saying it's okay to let go. Let's see. Mm. Some of y'all holding on some type of uh. I'm about to say you you holding on some type of hope, but you also could be holding on some type of hurt as well, too. Yeah, and this could be from you giving to people. I keep on hearing it's okay not to it's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to pretend not to be. And then at the bottom of the over here, you know, I didn't even show it's time to let go and move the freak on. It's, you could be holding on to something. They could have been burying you. Could be some type of pain. You got a cause in the flow. I'm so sick of it. Yeah, it's something about some type of pain. It's something you holding on to. I feel like this is the time you're supposed to be getting celebrated, but you hold it on. Some of y'all could be grieving something. Y'all could be hoping for better days. I just, I got like, I like my water with lemon in it. And I got to drink it more than. What's this? Spirit saying, stop blaming yourself and know that things had to happen. Because you got the five cups up here. The star, the four of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the five of cups, y'all. This, this remind me. I just did a Capricorn reading the other day. I ain't dropped it yet. First, I ain't like it because it feel like, you know, I, hate, I I like my messages a certain way. But it is what it is. I'm not perfect. So, I'm going to still release it. I might release it Monday. I don't know. It's Capricorn reading. And it's in the name of it is given from a place of lack. 
And I was just talking about it on TikTok. Like, a lot of y'all are burdened. And this thing, I know it's, it's all y'all. It's all my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. But I'm going to tell you this because it might help y'all. When we give them from a place of lack, right, instead of us just letting things flow, we it burdens us more. Like, if you give, you, yeah, okay, you can have so much love within you and you still break from it to people or when you do get over give it's because of like coming from a a trauma like some, it's coming from a hold on i'm trying to see what i'm saying it's coming from a place of lack though it's like you know how we overplay our part is because like you could be afraid of losing somebody it's like you can have an issue of overplaying your part too much like people pleasing and then when you pour so much, you overpour a little too much in the engine, not reciprocated. Now you are pouring fingers. You know what I'm saying? Now you blame and now you hold and resent me. Instead of you like knowing that, okay, I got a lot of love within me. It is what it is. This had to happen because of this. It's like you know that it's like, or it's just like you know, some of y'all don't know that. Okay, you can be given from a place of lack. Like if you. If you love somebody freely, you're not going to feel slave or trapped to what you give to somebody. If this making sense, I hope I am. I'm trying I'm trying to. I just seen it on, on TikTok. I feel like... I feel like your angels could be trying to communicate with you about something as well. Could be at this Knight of, Dim this Knight of Pentacles. What is this? What's this? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to use these ass. What's this? What's the advice for this? But spirit wants you to move on from something. It's like you sticking in some type. You like you seeking your own good about something that you already know that. You, some, it's probably something you can't control, something you can't change. It's like. You beating yourself up for it. Yeah, it said be ill and grateful. She could have been so much worse. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people give back do some good shit for humanity. It's like you hold it on to something. And it's the only reason why you holding on to it because you gave from a place of lack and I just gave it like from a genuine place. Okay, it's giving because out of fear. Like you was moving out of fear. Even when you give love, it's out of fear. It's like what I was getting like when I was doing a Capricorn reading. Everybody read this name with y'all. Of course, some of y'all are Capricorns. It's just like, huh, mine. Like, huh. You give in to them and don't be giving to nobody either too because you feel sorry for them. You get what I'm saying? Give it because you want to give it. Okay, like this with love, anything in life, money, anything. He said, what the hell are you waiting on? Get this shit done. He said, don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Yo. It's like you could have forced something and now you holding resentment because of this. Let's see. What's going on? What's going on? I'm already saying. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more. See, a lot of y'all back in the day, your heart wasn't open. That's why it's like he was given from like a place of lack. It's like because you could have been closed off or something like that. Could have been having a lot of barriers up. Like not letting everybody get to you. Like not letting it, like you're not easy to open up or easy to get close to. Yeah. Cup uh coffee cup meet and conversing. Savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendships. What is this? Some of y'all could be still holding on to grudges to people that you open up to. Yeah, because it's so crazy when they say uh, friendship and all these, then you got the run up here. I feel like these people who couldn't, ex didn't know how to accept whatever you had to offer. Their rejection won just because of you weren't good enough, Ursa. It was because they probably weren't ready for it because you could attract these people like, it feel like you were wearing a mask. Like this had to happen to wake you up to some type of truth. I feel like a lot of y'all could um, 
Because I like, like, if you keep on giving from lack, you're going to keep on, you're going to keep on getting it. Some of y'all could be running from your own feelings and stuff as well, too. It's like you a runner, but you meet a runner. And it's like you hold on to that because they are runners. But it's like you, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. It's like you're trying to force somebody to, to get something because it's like it's coming out. Like, it's like, huh, get this love. Like, it's like you're trying to force somebody to get some shit. Is that in my flow? Hold up, y'all. Yeah. Oh, girl, I ain't see this card on the floor. You got the lovers down here. It was on the floor. I feel like these people that you could have actually cared about could be a lover, too. Yeah, it said challenges make decisions and work on your inner, inner healing. It's something coming. Like, some of y'all could have craved intimacy or you was missing or you wanted it so bad to the point that it's like you forced somebody. You forced to give it to somebody else thought they was going to give it back to you. Like, a place of lack. And it could have been a, a, um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody who probably ran from this because they also didn't know how to accept it. And I feel like a lot of y'all, they probably could have been lacking it just as much as you was lacking. It's like you were forcing something on someone else because you didn't have it within you. Or it's something. I'm trying to find the right words that I'm trying to say. And I feel like this towel, you could have had a towel moment. Yeah, you had some type of uh, shock and change just could have happened. It's like spirit could have saw you forcing something on someone. And spirit, like, instead of you forcing it on them, why you won't get it? Why you won't give it to yourself? Because you the one who need it the most. You can't force somebody to take something that they don't want to take. Yeah, I said he or she is lying. Haters are hating. Sexual therapy. Hold on, matter of fact, we finna figure out what's going on. Challenges and obstacles are part of the, of the life. I mean, of life. They wake us, no, they make us stronger and build character. Yeah, you got, yeah, it was something, it was like a toxic way of doing something. Yeah, dear self, I promise to love you forever and always. It's like you give love to receive it back. But a lot of y'all pass the test and it, it ain't how you supposed to do it. You're going to give, you're going to give it freely. Not because you want something in return. And I feel like this was the downfall. This is why you were so passionate about giving somebody something because you want it back. It's like if you had it given to yourself, you wouldn't be trying to force for somebody else to get it. Well, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to try to try to make sense with y'all. So tell me what's going on. What's going on with this situation, Spirit? Tell me what's, the, what's going on with the earth sign. What's the solution to this? What is the solution? Come on, man. Y'all ain't got to hit it. Yep. Some of y'all have some type of changes coming in. Somebody could also have a baby with somebody. You find out more information to overwork yourself. Someone is expecting. Fire sign. Leo is Sagittarius. Hold on. Same cards come back out. Hold up, y'all. I'll keep on hearing the song. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. It's like some of y'all, y'all, it's time, it, it's time for you to do some heavy reflection. Because like when you holding a grudge with somebody, you need to ask yourself why they didn't receive it and why you were so eager for them to receive it. Because it's like it's coming from a place of lack. Or fear. Well, what is, what is, what is the solution for this? Watching, looking, stopping, gaze, like, focusing out. What is this? I feel like a lot of y'all focus on other people more than yourself. The competition, the enemy. Mm. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking, attack. It's like, it's like you finna let some type of backstab go. Because it came in reverse. And then you got the uh, meeting and conversing. And friendship can kind of reverse. Spirit saying it's time to review everything. 
What are these? Let me clarify these sunglasses. What are these? You will be traveling soon. Some of y'all, I feel like this is a lesson. You, this is like a level, like a lesson you gotta heal from, or you know, like every level is a new devil. And I feel like it's the emotions about whatever backstab this is. Yeah, relationships evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Some of y'all gonna have to do the, do some reflection and let you gonna have to heal from this. This is like a level that you gotta be. And it's about doing the inner work and doing reflection and all that. All the answers and all the tools is with inside of you. Okay? Especially learning that you don't got to force nothing on anyone. If you want, if you, if you going to give, if you feel like it's hard to give somebody love, it's time for you to do some type of reflection and insight and asking yourself, why is it so hard for me to give somebody love? Yeah, new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, and growth, and change, man. Some of y'all got a lot of, some of y'all gonna learn a lot from these. What is it? Like, Spirit wants you to learn, because it, it's doable. It's hard, because this could might be the hardest battle of yours. I'm hearing this song. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Yeah, it's like healing through some type of separation or from some type of separation. Yeah, someone expresses love, a, me a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I feel like a lot of y'all need to stop communicating with your inner child. Stop telling yourself. It's like some of y'all need to journal more and talk to your inner child, okay? <laughs> Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yawning, unsure uh, of the future. And I feel like this could be y'all. You'd be very unsure about your future due to some type of past event. What is this? What's this? Yeah. Somebody could be watching you or you could be watching them. I feel like both of y'all could have... I'm going could miss one another. Both y'all could be still angry or holding on to this situation. Yeah, both of y'all could be heartbroken. Like, whoever this is, you in separation with. I feel like both parties are in lack, like, was given out of lack. It's like, like a trauma bond type of um, relationship. Yeah, this is somebody who watching you. You got two cards with the wizard watching. Or y'all watching one another, especially if you got two. I feel like it's some type of judgment being called on this situation. Yeah, I feel like spirit has stepped in with this connection. Spirit could be giving you some type of downloads or some type of inner no like you might know some type of inner knowing about something or someone. What is about? Give me some advice for this situation. Yeah, it said you got a, a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you listen to the ish and what else. 18, 18 on the clock. You need a you need fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Some of y'all might need to work out a little more or just ground yourself more. What is it? Spirit, like you, some of y'all could be pounding or being a brat about some type of situation. Yeah, it said don't believe every shit of thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. I feel like it's your thoughts that's keeping you stuck. And it's, and it's like this triangle. I almost say little triangle. So I don't know if somebody could have been giving somebody else or what. Like, especially a triangle. That means two on the end, be the bottom, and one at the top. It could be two. Like, somebody could put you in competition or something like that. Or it could be you, the enemy, <laughs> and a person. You know what I'm saying? Right, give me a shout out. Let me see. Let me see how this person feeling about it. Okay, Spirit, how this person feeling? Oh, shit. How this person feeling about it? Spirit's on it. They feel like you green and um, feel like you left them out in the cold. I mean, they could be grieving this situation. I feel like both of y'all are. What's this? Well, how they feeling? Tell me how this person feeling. How this person feeling? <laughs> Spirit, 
Somebody feel betrayed. Somebody could be very unsure about this connection as well, too. One minute they feel like they know the answer, and then one minute they feel like they don't. They feel like they left in the dark about this situation. Yeah, and this make them, this make them kind of want to come towards you on some bull crap. Let's see. What's this? Yeah, this somebody who want to open their heart, but it's like they trying not to. Like, somebody could be in a stubborn energy. What's going on? How does this person feel in spirit? Mm. Girl with the snake. Uh, empath, narcissist, being charmed or used. Somebody feel like you could have used them. I'm ready to get over somebody else. This also feel like somebody feel like you could have ran because you couldn't handle it or weak or something like that. What's this? How they feel? Come on, man. Why I always got to go all the way over there? That shit be irritating. <laughs> yes, they let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Somebody could have a baby on the way. What is this, baby? Hold up. What is this? How this person feeling? They trying to let, they trying to, ooh. Shit, this car, this damn table be moving. Every time I'm trying to catch the damn cars. That shit irritating. Come on now, shit. It be irritating the hell out of me. I like doing it right here, but I don't like when the damn cars hitting the flow. Cause how the fuck you going out, flipping out over everything else and going on the flow? That shit be bothering me. They be fucking up my cars and shit. Why the hell I get a rotating ass table? Stand still, shit. That's irritating me. Shit, how the unnecessary ass work. Somebody could feel like you do with some unnecessary work. Somebody could also feel like they put in a lot of work and time with you and they feel like it's gone down the drain. Somebody, yeah. They could also feel like it was a whole lot of conflict with inside of you, with inside this connection. I feel like they want they want to redo it as well too. This also somebody could be in their head a lot too, because somebody you see, you see Dr. Swords, he don't look too nice. He look angry, baby. Somebody could be mad about this little situation. How did this person feel in spirit? Oh, wow. Somebody can't make their mind up. They trying to find the answers that's going on with them with this connection. They don't, they don't, they, they trying to figure out what's going on. This could be somebody who's still stuck in the illusion as well, too. Still trying to paint an illusion. Somebody looking at the good parts in the relationship and ain't focusing on the bad. I feel like they they only looking at your parts and not their own. And some of y'all might be looking at your looking at their parts and not your own as well. So it's like ain't nobody doing no reflection like they should. You might be focusing on the bad, and this person might be focusing on the good. You're like, man, all I did was be nice to that girl. All I did do this and do that. But you ain't looking at all the times you done cheated and did other shit too, huh, Mr. Danny? What's really going on? Somebody's soul searching, though. They very flight. It's like one minute they understand or trying to find out something, and next minute they out of it. It's like somebody can be real wishy washy. I feel like somebody's trying to let this go so they can move forward as well, too. What's this? Me, but how that person feel in spirit? Yes, it don't fucking force you. Yeah. Somebody could be in an ego. Allow that shit to come to you. I feel like somebody waiting on you to come to them. Yeah, make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop putting yourself there. Somebody could be blaming themselves too because of how much they open to you. Somebody feel like they like they, they feeling regretful that they opened up to you or they gave to you or something like that. Yeah, stop texting, stop stalking. 
stop uh, checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Yeah, it's it's been time on someone worthy. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Baby, if somebody feel like this is, this is a waste of time. Somebody could have felt like this connection was a waste of time. Because he didn't go with like what had a plan. Okay. So what is the end our energy with these? No, 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 I'm a little mad. Somebody expecting new things coming in because, you know, pregnancy is well too. Them, you know, expecting something new. It could be something new coming in. They waiting on something new. They're they trying to let go. And for some of them, they actually could have a baby on the way. I'm getting different energy out of this. Hold up, let me see. Somebody, the baby, they, they feel bird. They feel a little, they feel a little wounded by these. They feel they got a little scar and cut from here. But I feel like this person trying to overlook it. Yeah, they over there juggling this here. Somebody could be very imbalanced as well too. I feel like y'all going through the same emotions. Okay, both of y'all be holding resentment and grudges at one another. Yeah, somebody, because they don't know how to make their mind up. If they want to be cool and if they want to like you today, or they want to hate you today. It's like, because some type of decision, because this didn't work out like they thought it was. Or this could have been somebody who expect you, you know, to accept all the bull crap. Yeah, baby, because this also somebody could have looked at you like a, they wanted a baby with you and they wanted a commitment. And for some of y'all, y'all could have had it with this person. Okay, what is the end out energy for this period? What is the end out energy? What is the end out energy? What is the end out energy for both? For this, for this connection. Spirit said it's time to let go. Yeah, time to move forward. I feel like a lot of y'all going, you going to have to go on. Balance their light and dark energy and go on move forward. But what are they moving forward to? There's going to be some type of forward movement going on. Feel like y'all can leave where you settle, where you tolerate it, and go where you celebrate it. What is both of y'all feel like? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, some of y'all already, you get out of delusional land and realize that, hey, some of y'all going to be accepting this something just ain't for y'all. Yeah, and it's going to be your justice. It's going to hurt a little bit. Might cause a lot of confusion with the side of you. You might be fighting yourself for this. You know what I'm saying? Or fighting some type of emotions. But it's like, it's like, it's time for you to go and do what you're going to do. Some of y'all might be turning their pines to purpose, too. Come on, what's going on? Because she's crying, but she's sitting there looking pretty, too. What is the end of the They go again. The time I'm trying to catch you. Things like in series. What is this? You are a partner. You and your partner may be physical, emotional disorders. Mm. Communication issues, the addiction, codependent relationship. Yeah, both of y'all gonna have to take this this ill with a grain of salt and move forward. There's somebody who watches the ill. And they heartbroken. Yeah, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling loss, grieving, mourn, mourn. I feel like both of y'all feeling like this. Receiving what you need, arriving, moving on, closure issues. One ain't gonna let it go. But the other one, baby, y'all both gonna have to move forward though. What is the what is the end of energy spirit? It looks like somebody trying to let Somebody, I don't feel like, I feel like this person going to try to come back towards you one more time. I ain't trying to get, for a group of y'all, y'all going to be letting go. For the other group, I feel like this person have finally made a decision to come towards you. To get out of the Lulu lane or get out of, get out of their their own thoughts and finally finna come towards you. Because it's feel like it's somebody feel like they can't live without you. That's one group because they've been watching you. And they feel burdened without you. For the other group, y'all gonna take this shit with a grain of salt and move forward. And take a leap and, and, and you know, and, and go whatever you gotta go to. Okay, what else? What's this? What, what else? They ain't not energy. Interesting. 
You don't have any fire sand. You don't have any. Somebody can feel like it's one sided, man. It's like now they want to work on it, the other person don't. Like y'all might don't want to work on it. Or you can look at it like this is weird too. A lot of y'all are the one that's moving forward. And you know, you're gonna be heartbroken by moving forward. But this person going to finally make their move. Like now that you don't move forward, it's like when you make a movement, now they making a movement towards you. You know what I'm saying? It could be either way. Yeah, because somebody feel happy ending with you. Because it's somebody who feel like they can't live without you. Lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? This person's spirit team can be telling them to come towards you. I wanna kiss you. I wanna love you. Uh. Yep. Somebody gonna come towards you. They wanna let their guard down and come towards you, but I feel like for a lot of y'all, it's gonna be too late. Too late to apologize. Y'all gonna be thinking, y'all gonna be disconnected from y'all hard because you're gonna be like, I've been single all this time. I'm gonna stay single. What's the advice when you close this reading up? Somebody gonna come towards you, but it's gonna be too late already. Now, if you waiting, then did you waiting, but let's see, what, what's the advice for them? Yep, they say love, get some, give some, cheer, cheer your ass up, and I feel like this is why somebody wanna come towards you. You need a good fucking cry. Get that ugly cry on and let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Shit is going down at your job. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. I feel like this is somebody. I feel like this person's spirit team is calling this person out. Like, get up. Because you're about to lose this person. But I feel like for some of y'all, they're going to lose you anyway. Too late to apologize. It's too late. Because I feel like y'all been hurting. Like, y'all just... You know, it's like it's like yours wrapping on up, and I feel like this other person they done just started. It could have been going on for a while, but I feel like one of y'all has been somebody been hurting longer than the other one. Cause some of y'all could have been buried in the relationship as well too. But I told you, somebody feel like, damn, what I've been doing all this for this person. When when did it go wrong? Somebody could be like, when did it go wrong? Should it been went wrong? You crave you crave something more healthier than this person. They thinking it, it's cool. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. That's what I was saying in the Capricorn reading too. A lot of y'all was playing chess and not checkers. You was being quiet about a lot of stuff. But Spirit saying, this is why people, when you let them slide, they ice skate. Because you let, why are you letting them slide anyway? Speak about your, tr your truth. Speak your feelings. Some of y'all don't want to look vulnerable so you don't speak about your feelings. And that's where you went wrong yet. But I feel like Spirit could be bringing you something. Some of y'all could have some type of um, new money coming in as well. Or you got something gift, some type of gift from spirit coming in. Okay. So, I hope they find some type of clarity. But somebody coming towards you. But I feel like it's going to be too late. It's too late to apologize. They apologize, but I don't mean they're going to get a spot. And I think that's why they bring the apology. So, love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.